and back on track. Yeah, he's worked hard, worked hard with uh, Foster and Holmes to get back uh, to what makes him good. And that's uh, some, of, some of it's mechanical, some of it's pitch mix. Uh, we saw it all the way. He was, he, he was staying, staying over the rubber longer, you know, um, much more in control of his delivery. And uh, we saw a change up in the curveball again today, and they, 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 were, they were both very effective pitches for him. Um, that's, that's Chad Bettis right there, what we saw today. Is um, using the pit, pitch mix more, is that what has helped him today get through the lineup the second and third time, which had been a problem? Yeah, he's, he's using uh, all four. He's using all four, you know, so, um, you know, following the patterns when you do that, you can pitch backwards, you know, and he, 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 he did that some today. But, um, you know, the separation and velocity makes it tough on the hitters. So uh, he, he had all his weapons working. What well, looked like Castro rebounded nicely for you this afternoon? Yeah. No, uh, you know, it's not always going to be smooth sailing, you know, especially as a reliever. You know, every blemish, every, every, every blemish is uh, magnified as, as a back end of the bullpen guy. And, and so uh, people get excited, you know, when, when something goes wrong on, on a particular night. But, uh, I mean, we know how talented he is and, and uh, have a lot of confidence in him. It absolutely does. Uh, he's he's as tough as they come, DJ. And I've said that for a few years. Uh, you guys know what I what I think of him. Um, but to step up there and 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 hit a triple off a guy throwing a hundred after getting hit in the head, you know, and to stay in the game. First of all, you know, well, he he passed all the tests. You know, typically, guy doesn't stay in the game after getting hit in the head uh, that hard. But um, he seemed to be fine. Um, and he was, obviously. He had stayed in, made a nice play, got a big hit. Uh, yeah, DJ is having a heck of a season for us. Really good homestand for Friday morning. Um, feel like it's time to say you guys are in a pretty good place right now. We're in a pretty good place. You know, um, I've been saying to our club uh, for a while now that uh, I feel like this, this team's going to get better as the year goes on, you know, which has not been the trend here. The last few years, I, I just feel like this team uh, is set up to get better and better as the year goes on, and I, and hopefully that you know that's a trend we're seeing right now. We're 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 playing better. We're not we're not we're not perfect yet, uh, far from it, but uh, we're playing good baseball. And uh, like I said, I think we're going to continue to get better and better. What's been the key to this turnaround lately? You know, common denominator is usually you know you pitch well, and and. Uh, I like the back. I like our bullpen. You know, our our, our starters. Uh, you know, I think I, I think our our rotation is is more talented than it's been. Uh, it's deeper. So it starts there. I think offensively we're doing some things. There was a little lull there for a little while. Had 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 a meeting with our guys about getting back to the things that that make us effective offensively. And I think, you know, they uh, they did a, a nice job of that. Certainly the, the last couple of games, but. Uh, um, you know, we're, we're, we're playing pretty good baseball. We're going to keep pushing. We're not going to take our foot off the gas. Well, has there been an ejection on the pitch? I think it was Reynolds. No, no, it was a, it was a, it was a curve ball that <clears throat> it was a Batances, I think. Um, he just he, he just really tried to crank on a curve ball and he, he got around it. Um, no, there was there was no intent there. Yeah, very poised for a young kid. Um, you know, he's he's uh, he, he's really made an impression. Yeah, he, you know, we, we knew he was talented in spring training. You know, to be honest, I, I didn't know he he was, was going to be this impactful this early, but um, didn't take long for me to throw him into into the heat uh, after a couple outings up here, and he's responded and just keep giving him tough innings, and now he's closing games, and um, it's been really really good. Yeah, he's got a change up. He's got a good change up. He's got a good slider. He's got three quality pitches, um, which makes it tough when you're when you're throwing upper 90s. Um, so yeah, it's uh, he, he's got weapons, multiple weapons, and it's not just a good fastball. Well, you 
Ben, some of you older than I like to play. How big is he this year picking snaps this year? Tony's done a nice job. Tony's done a nice job. He's a good receiver, very athletic back there. Um, you know, I think uh, Nick has done a, a good job mentoring him. Uh, Latch also. Latch uh, uh, does an outstanding job with our catchers. But uh, no, Tony has uh, responded very well. Yeah, you know, it looks like Parr is going to—he's going to be a DL. You know, um, kind of looked that way last night. He was—he's pretty sore, but uh, um, yeah. Thanks, Walt. Thanks, Walt. Uh, not sure yet. We'll—we'll we'll discuss that right now. Thanks.